Let There Be Light. All right, this one's out of Deltona, Florida, and uh, it's kind of long, so if it gets stupid like it's just a bunch of bullshit in the middle, we'll fast forward through it. Let's, uh, let's dive on in. Five hundred loads in a final stop. Be it Carter and Clara. What are you reaching for in there, man? Why do you keep shooting to that side for? Huh? Why do you keep reaching over that way for? When I stopped you, you're all over in this area. What were you doing? Don't lie. What were you doing? What did you put over there? I saw you reaching all over there. I'm telling you right now. I got on camera. You're all over on that side. What it's over there? Over there? Whatever you were doing over that way, what were you putting over there? I wasn't putting anything. This isn't, I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I saw what you were doing the entire time we were stopping. The more honest you are with me, the more I can work with you. If you continue to lie to me, then you're going to tie my hands and I have to do what I... All right. I get the conversation part of it, but if you see somebody making furtive movements on some, you know, in some part of the vehicle that raises your suspicion, then... Maybe pull them out of the vehicle. You got plenty of room to work there. Hey man, you know what? Go ahead and hop out for me. Let's let's take a let's take a look, see what we got going on here. You got anything on you I need to know about guns, knives, open alcohol containers, drugs of any kind? No? Good. You don't mind if I check you just to make sure you're you're good to go, right? Right. And and be done with it. I have to do. What were you doing over there? Can you be honest with me or no? Here's the turning. What am I going to do? I'm going to drive away. What is it? Yeah, you talk to me or no? Gregory, what's going on with you today? Is your license valid? Is your license valid? As far as I know. All right, why are you not talking all of a sudden? You stressed out? You're just aggravated? Oh, well, the reason why you're being stopped is you weren't wearing your seatbelt when you went by me back there. All right? Hang tight. Don't reach for anything, you hear me? Put your right hand out here outside the door until we're done talking. Look, if you've got that much reasonable suspicion that there's some hinky shit going on, don't leave them in a situation where they can deed him out. Pull them out if you have to. Don't be afraid to pull people out. You have you have tools to use. Investigative detention being one of them. How negative on what? Copy. Mm -hmm. Hey, where are you at? Uh, Ambrose and uh, uh, Stone. Come back me up real quick. Sorry, one. On your trap stop? Yeah. This guy's real, yeah, the guy's real finicky. When I was going to stop him, he was reaching in the right side of the car and stuff. He's got a suspended DL and everything. All right, I'll be there. All right, bye. All right, sorry to keep stopping it. If you're going to have somebody come back you up, man, put all your traffic on the radio. Put everything over the air, even requesting a backup unit. Why? Because when you get to court, you can say, hey, I request, uh, you know, it, it, everything's recorded. Everything's recorded. So 
you know, making a phone call, you know, it saves airtime for other people. But hey, roll me another unit. It don't take that much time, but it's 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 part of your permanent record now. Air everything. When I stopped him, he went probably good half a block in the entire time he's like in the right side of the car. <clears throat> When I got to him, I started asking him about it, and he instantly shut down. Like he, it was like he wanted to tell me something, but he didn't, he didn't come off of it. What's going on, sir? What's your first name? Are you not talking to me? No. Did you give him all your information? What's going on, man? Listen, Bo, you just got pulled over for a traffic violation. It's a civil violation. But you not talking to us and ignoring us, and that, that kind of raises our eyebrows for other things, right? So if you cooperate with us and we cooperate with you, you get out of here. I can't hear you, buddy. I apologize. You don't really sound like a police officer right now. Um, please, please talk to the officer back there. I'm talking to you, though. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't sound like a police officer. I don't want to waste my breath. Waste your breath with what, sir? This is just a traffic stop for a traffic violation. I'm not asking you any criminal questions. I was merely trying to have a general conversation with you while we waited. Right? I get it. All right, Gregory, this is the deal, bud. Your license is suspended. Okay? So you're not going to be able to drive. Yes, why? Come get your truck. Hey, don't do it. Hey! Gregory! Gregory, don't do it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying. 5 Motor 11 Central 12F. The truck that just took off from me. You can't even go. I don't know what's going on. Signal 12, South on Claire, white GMC. This is different than your 1050. Yeah, I have his name and truck everything. Go get a warrant. Okay, white male with a beard, neon green shirt. Comes back out of Deltona. Yeah, Deltona. You got his address, go to his house. Pretty simple. He ran over a couple of good logs. He's really going, so he's not going at high rate of speed. Now we're stationary just up on. He's probably approaching um, New Hampshire by now. Five motor eleven central, yes, ten four, twelve F. Okay. Twenty central six are authorized for the county. Yeah. Yeah. I got a brand new shot on that. What kind of car is it? Two thousand fourteen white GMC truck. Got a lot of tires in the back. And when he left he had a weed eater hanging out the side. Where do we need that? How could you where are you? <laughs> Everyone's coming. Let's just give it a second before we lay it up. Everyone, we just went through Rhode Island. It's in the number one 
land. Yeah, I got it. Air wants a troll, we're on scene, overhead. Are there more units behind us so I can light this thing up or no? Yeah, I'm about five behind This traffic's horrible. I got lights too, I'm not behind it. Ready when you are, we're in front of the tree. Nothing better than air support, right? Stop stopping. Stop stopping. Right, let's let everyone go. He's southbound in the right lane going through Enterprise. I've shut everything down. They're going to their right. Uh, it looks like he's pulling off uh, turn lane. Right by the bullet center. So yes, fixer authorized pursuit is not. Cut to the parking lot, head toward the McDonald's. It looks like he's going to try to get out to uh, Enterprise. To the All right, so sticks are authorized, pursuit is not. Supervisor, make the right call there. Is it worth chasing this guy over? Or do you just go to his house later with a warrant? Parking lot. Got to Enterprise. Going to be going right, going southbound Enterprise. Full and complete stop there. Yo, hey, mind your lights behind that car. This is for CAD, we're at 40 mile an hour. Nobody's got it lit up. Passing Harley Strickland, left lane. We have anybody on tax in with six? November 20th, is going to be out there. We're in the left lane coming up to Saxon. He's in the left turn lane to go eastbound Saxon. It's right behind a white S uh a white car with a tan top. Nope. He said no. Oh, no. He's cut to the far right lane now, turn on to westbound Saxon. West on Saxon. Anybody at Saxon CRB or Spike it that way? Make sure someone all has it. Okay. Turn lane, turning toward the uh, OK mark. Head toward the poker room. Lots of room to work there. Big parking lot. Keep somebody on Saxon with six. Motor 61 is going to the Firestone exit. For the uh, Botran bus area. Cut on the back side of Botran, heading behind the uh, Starbucks. One November 41 Central, he's coming right for me. Nope, he just made a right and he's going out towards Enterprise, out towards Enterprise. Yep, coming to you. Got him. Stick hit, stick hit. Back southbound on Northbound Enterprise, going right lane, going Good back job, toward man. Saxon. Just turn off to Saxon, going eastbound, left lane. 5 motor 11, heads up to all units. He was reaching right side when I originally stopped, and that's why I called for a secondary unit. Hey, VC3 said he's pulled over a couple days ago and had firearms in the car, FYI. Yeah, sorry, just... Charlie Fisher, you yeah, pulled over? No, he's slow. Fred Gill, right lane. Behind, stuck behind traffic. It 
just coming up on the right lane. No traffic in front of him. No, he's in the middle lane now with traffic in front of him. Approach him, medical center. Center lane. Again. Hey, you got to be quick on them sticks now. Number 40, Miss Dick. Right lane VMP, going through VMP. You throw them things, make sure you got, an, you know, you got enough line to get them out of the way quick. Still, middle lane, still eastbound section. Is anybody ahead of him on Saxon? Four city in, do not leave the city. All right, so I'm going to be crossing over I-4, still on Saxon, right lane. Everybody get on Finland if you can with the steps again. Right lane. to the Publix now, still at the, well, kind of between the right and center lane. Do we have anybody headed? And they fooling with this guy for a minute. Charlie, should you have Saxon Enterprise now? Ah, oh, he's getting squirrely. There it Do we is. have anybody going towards this guy's RO help? Yeah, his tire. All right, just got a tire come off. Let's turn right on to Finland, right on to Finland, going south on Finland. He's uh, losing control. We'll bump him now. Well, you're residential. Maybe not. Is anybody going to the R's house? He's probably trying to get home. There you go. Good Good address. Question. Good question. Yeah, everybody's thinking. Turning right. Should be back in the Saxon Woods area there behind that public. Yeah, he is turning right to Habersham. Still going on Habersham. He's turning uh, into 501 Habersham. Lost another tire. He's getting out of the vehicle. Do we have shots fired? Right into the woods. Went in north, back behind the Publix into those woods, behind the truck. Stand by, we have shots fired. We have shots fired. Stand by. Central suspect down. Rescue code three. Now we're returning uh, into 501 hour. up here a sec or go forward here a sec I guess 
Wing. Right lane VMP, going through VMP. All right, so a lot of things happen there at the end, right? So you've got Doofus Head guy pulls into that driveway or tries to pull into that driveway, bails out of the car. It looks like there were shots being fired um, as he pulled into that driveway, and as soon as this thing catches up, we'll, we'll take another look at it here. Let me see if I can't get this to roll forward. All right, so watch when he turns in to this driveway. It looks like you can see smoke right there. Yeah, it looks like he's shooting through his windshield right there. So he must have had the gun. Oh, nowhere to go. Yeah, they busted his ass wide open. So, at the very end there, you heard the one officer, and good on calling the ceasefire. I mean, you dropped him. Probably not a lot of lot more reason other than, or beyond that, to, to be slinging lead downrange, especially against that backdrop, because you don't know really what's on the other side of those trees. <laughs> So maybe that's this agency's policy. I don't know. But for me, you've got at least three cars there. There's no reason in the world, in my opinion, why you can't leapfrog from this position to the corner of this. And I'm pointing, I'm pointing to the screen like you can see where, what I'm pointing to. You can't leapfrog up to this uh, white, uh, I guess that's a Durango right there, while maintaining uh, cover on the bad guy. And then move around in a in a stack, maintaining cover to get to him, and get him secured and start life saving measures. I keep seeing in these videos, I've got a shield, or I'm going to go get a shield, and let's wait for more people. If you have the time, great. But it seems to me in a situation like this, how necessary is the shield really? Again, unless that's part of this this agency's SOP, put your put your group together, bound up to this next uh, vehicle, maintaining cover on the on the bad guy, and then move to him, keeping him covered until you can get him secured. It, it just it seems to me like it would save time. Anyway, good job all the way around. There were a lot of things in there that I saw that, you know, hey. We can go to his house with a warrant. We've got his tag. We've got his driver's license number. We know who he is. We know where he lives. Um, it, there was a lot of uh, good coordination going on here between the uh, air unit and the patrol units, and they were able to get this guy uh, hemmed up. And it, it this could have been a whole hell of a lot simpler Guy gets a, a written citation for a suspended DL, or maybe he takes a ride for a suspended DL. I don't know, but you know why? Why go through all that just to get your ass shot off? 
I don't understand people sometimes, man. And I, I guess we're not meant to. But anyway, if you saw anything that I missed, drop it in the comment section down below. I'm sorry this one was so long, but it was long because they they followed this guy around for some time. But hope you enjoyed it. And uh, once again, stay tuned. Somebody that subscribed is going to get this thing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. If you can't be good, be good at it. Be safe.